The government of Uganda has confirmed and also commenced preparations for the high-level solidarity conference that is expected to attract key dignitaries from the international community with a major objective of mobilizing resources and also drumming up support for thousands of refugees that our country, Uganda, is hosting. We are hoping that through the generous giving of governments, foundations, and private sector agencies, we will be able to raise the two billion dollars from the summit. That is the short-term funding gap we are currently facing uh, to take us for one year. We expect the summit to bring together heads of government, heads of UN agencies, and other regional and international organizations, foundations, humanitarian agencies, philanthropists, business people, as well as NGOs. Jointly organized by the government of Uganda, the Office of the United Nations Secretary General, and the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, with support with the United Nations in Uganda, the Uganda Solidarity Summit on Refugees will take place on the 22nd and 23rd of June this particular year, 2017, at Speak Resort, Monyonyo. We invited you today to inform you about the forthcoming Uganda Solidarity Summit on Refugees that will be held in Kampala on uh, 22nd and will continue to 23rd of June 2016. The summit is convened and jointly hosted by His Excellency President Joel Museveni, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, with the support of the United Nations High Commission for Refugees. This summit comes at a time when Uganda is ranked among the largest refugee hosting countries in the world, posing a lot of challenges and risks to refugees and Uganda as a country. Currently, we are hosting refugees from South Sudan, Burundi, DRC, Somalia, Rwanda, and Eritrea. It is estimated that by the end, of 2017, end of this year, a further 400,000 refugees will have arrived in the country. The above numbers are placing a huge strain on our already stressed ability to cater for the food, water, sanitation, health, and educational needs of the refugees and their host communities. Yet, we have to keep our borders open. Our brothers and sisters who are forced to flee their homes and countries due to war, to starvation, to violence, and to persecution. According to the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Rakana Rugunda, the violence in South Sudan is the sole reason as to why the number of refugees continues to escalate every now and then. On average, Uganda has been receiving about 2,000 refugees per day for the last six months. This flow of refugees into Uganda is likely to continue because of the recurring cycles of insecurity and instability in the region from where the refugees are fleeing. The United Nations Resident Coordinator Rosa Malango has also revealed the United Nations commitment to supporting Uganda with the refugee crisis, thereby calling upon the international community to do the same. I would like to use the opportunity to invite member states of the United Nations, private sector leaders and citizens to stand with Uganda shoulder to shoulder and help mobilize support, contribution, and awareness of the situation and the summit itself. A website has also been launched to allow everyone have access to the required information and all updates in regard to the Uganda Solidarity Summit on Refugees. Justin Nabunya reporting for Record News at the office of the Prime Minister in Kampala.